Cray Panther Silver is a profitable primary silver producer. We have two 100% owned mines in Mexico. We derive about two-thirds of our production from the Guanajuato mine, which is strictly silver and gold with no base metals. About one-third of our production comes from the Topia mine in Durango, and Topia is a silver lead zinc mine with just a small amount of gold. Both mines are owned 100% with no royalties, and we don't hedge our precious metal production. Great Panther has been mining since 2005 and continues to increase silver production year over year with a focus on keeping costs down. Throughout 2012, a number of operating efficiencies were introduced, with particular attention paid to the processing plant, which is allowing for increased throughput and better recoveries. The plant upgrades that we've made uh, in 2012, we've managed to increase the recoveries to about 91-92% for both silver and gold. And the plant is now running very efficiently, uh, but it's still only running at about half capacity. To double throughput at the plant, Great Panther expects to increase mine output at Guanajuato and move forward with development at San Ignacio. At the company's newest project, El Horcon, a drill program is planned that should a mineable resource be defined could add further ounces to the company's resources and provide additional feed to the Cata plant. Both the San Ignacio project and the El Harcon project are within trucking distance to Guanajuato. And so once we get the San Ignacio project into production, we can just truck the ore around to the main plant at Cata. And our goal is to do the same thing with El Harcon once we've established a resource there. The near-term goal for Great Panther is to become a mid-tier primary silver producer, which effectively means more than 5 million ounces of annual silver equivalent production. In order to get there, we feel that our existing operations, as well as the new projects of San Ignacio and El Harcon, can take us to about 4 million ounces over the next couple of years. But to go beyond the 5 million will require another acquisition, and that's something that we're very focused on right now, is the whole mergers and acquisitions side of things.